Hi friends! Welcome back to Know Your Role. Today we're talking about the Striker. This is like a more linear berserker. Somehow harder. It's weird, but we're gonna learn today. All right, friends, you've decided to play Striker. Well, I too am a masochist sometimes, but here we go, we're gonna learn how to play it together. One of the most important things I like to tell people about Striker is that it is not an engage. It is not. It doesn't have enough immunities to be an engage. Sure, you have some skills that can engage, but chances are if you're wasting your skills to get in, you're not gonna have a chance to get out unless you absolutely land skills on every single member of that team. You wanna play the disruption tool with this class. You wanna be in the fight, but peeling for your team for the most part. You do not have a ton of CC immunity, especially not enough tier two immunity to really be that person that just plugs away in a fight. And you wanna play very smart. And like War Dancer, you have to be very mindful of what your opponents have available, what their ideal fight is. Now, one of the most important parts of the striker kit is Storm Dragon. This skill has tons of skill expression because it is a three tiered skill. You can press the button three different times and you can actually have two seconds in between each press before it activates the cooldown. Now what makes this skill so unique is that you can actually use other skills while the two seconds is available. So something like an engagement of lightning kick is available after you've hit the button twice and going straight from a stagger into a knockup that is Paralysis immunity because it is paralysis immunity on the third button press of this skill It's a very quick way to get a fast protected knock up on somebody that wasn't expecting it Like a gunslinger trying to range you from the fight and similarly to war dancer moon flash kick is an amazing tech chase tool Sleeping ascent is also phenomenal Now swift wing kick is a fantastic skill in its own right because it does have paralysis tier one immunity but the fact that it has a slow component adds so much more utility to this kit because you're using it for a finisher, chances are they wanna roll afterward, and that's prime position for you to use Lightning Tiger Strike right afterward and chase them down when they don't have roll available anymore. This class is unique in that it is combo oriented. Obviously, most classes are combo oriented, but not so much as the Striker. The Striker does damage over the course of a long combo. Now the problem with that is that you're standing still or isolating one target and it is 3v3. There are people that are gonna try and peel the striker off of their teammate. So what do you wanna do? You wanna get the knockdown on one person and move to the next. Like you don't have to waste all of your combo on one person. There's so many knockup tools in this kit that you can go from using Phoenix Advent dashing into a moon flash kick against another opponent, and then you're getting two rolls in a blink of an eye. It's very, very fast, and this class can actually control fights as long as you're not just focused on doing damage to one target. Spread it out, make sure you get your knockups, make sure you're moving around the field a little bit better. One of the big things about Striker is the only tier two immunity it has, it's on its identity spender, Lightning Tiger Strike. Now, with this particular skill, you don't wanna use it for damage, in the easiest sense. You wanna get a knockdown on somebody, you wanna watch where they roll and tech chase after them, and then lightning tiger strike, so that you get a second knockdown for free. There's nothing they're really gonna be able to do about it unless they hit a perfect tier three CC on you or counter awakening, but in the rare occasion that they wanna waste an awakening on you chasing them down, chances are you're gonna get out because you're tier two immune. So. Make sure you're using this skill to completely isolate and capitalize on a kill, rather than just using it for damage. Sure, there are situations where you can, but it's not gonna help you more to use it just straight up for damage. You wanna tech chase with it and force someone into a second disadvantageous situation. And let's talk about the awakening. Striker's awakenings are kind of strange. Both of them are kind of used for just more damage, right? They don't do anything else for you. So it's kind of a toss up. You wanna make sure that you're using these to close out kills on people you know do not have roles anymore. You don't wanna use these defensively where you're scared somebody's gonna engage on you because they are slow on wind up. 
you want to make sure that you're closing out a kill. Thank you for checking out this Know Your Role. Make sure you check out Jaeger. Dude is probably one of the best players in America. He's unreal. Jaeger OG on Twitch, absolute monster. Check him out. He's playing Dead Eye. He's playing Striker. He's playing all this stuff. Dude's crazy. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe below. I will see you in the next Know Your Role. Peace.